So I want to welcome in our very special guest. We have Stephanie Rance, who's joining us here today. Good morning. Who is a sewing expert, but she also, you've been sewing since you were a young girl. That's right. My mom taught me how to sew in her mechanical sewing machine. Love that. So this is also a mechanical sewing machine, and it's just so much fun to learn to sew. Um, it's something you can bond over when you're learning or teaching, and um, I really highly recommend it, of course. So this is our wonderful derby machine um, made by Janome. It's beautiful. Obviously, it comes in so many wonderful colors, but it's also very simple to use. So it takes the guesswork out of sewing if you are new to sewing. So let me go ahead and show you how it works. This is a dial -a stitch. Right here shows you all of the different stitches that it's capable of doing right there, right on the front in the diagram. We have the reverse button right here located on the front. And there's some really neat features that you see on this smaller machine that you also get on larger machines, such as the top drop and bobbin system. We have a really nice presser, uh, presser foot here with an extra high lift if you need to put different um, layers of fabric in. So let's get it going. Okay. And I'll start to show you some of the other features as well. So you can stitch all sorts of different fabrics. We recommend lightweight to medium weight. And this right here, I'm going to show you how to stitch on paper, actually. So oh, that's great for crafting. Exactly. So it's a wonderful crafting machine. It's a five-pound machine, so if you're someone on the go, you can take your projects with you. I'm going to switch my dial over to the eye. This is a scallop stitch, so we're going to switch it over, and we're going to start sewing. It's as easy as that. You just turn the knob like you would open a door, <laughs> and you can start to sew. I put my presser foot down. And we watch it go. What's really neat about this machine is it has a, bit, is a, a finger guard right here built in on the presser foot. So when I was making some of these um, examples um, over the weekend, my daughter is one years old and I had her sitting on my lap. And I wasn't afraid because I, I knew that finger guard was there. And so I was very confident that she wouldn't get hurt. So this is just an example. You can have lots of fun. Cute. You can make different um, stitches right there, decorative stitches onto your fabric or onto paper, and I have a, ban a little banner up front, little Easter banner up front. Oh, that's darling. That shows you different things you can do, and you, you can could even, also put, I was going to say, you could put like the little ribbons yeah, on there, Yeah, you can too. put ribbon on there, too, and I'll show you how that works. I'll just switch the dial over to, let's say, how about a zigzag stitch. So we'll move it over to zigzag, over to F. Oh, there it is. I have to know the alphabet. Okay. And then we're going to do that as well. And these are perfect, too. If you know somebody who's a new sewer and you want to get into sewing, you want to do those zigzag stitch. Maybe you have a bathing suit that the little, you know, the little piece just kind of comes out. Right. And you've tried to just stitch it and restitch it, and it comes out looking kind of like a knot. Right. You don't want that. You want to be able to actually put a, a nice little lock stitch in there. Mm -hmm. This is actually going to help to lock that stitch in and lock it in place. So you can use it, yes, for all of your crafting projects. And mm -hmm. since it's National Craft Month, this is a great time to think about those. But look at all the cute little projects and different things that we've been able to do out here. But it's a great way to sort of get bit by the sewing bug. Mm -hmm. How much do you spend right now hemming all of your pairs of pants? So isn't that darling? Like, look at how cute this is with the little fabric. All of the little baby t-shirts, those little things that you need to just finish off. I know my daughter's at that young age, so she has all those great little tops that... She likes them a little short. She yes. likes the dress a little yeah, bit Yeah, she shorter. wants to make them her own. And I said, do you uh -huh. know what that costs every single time you take that to a tailor to have that dress made a little bit shorter or to right. have that finish exactly. on the bottom of a pair of pants? Mm -hmm. You could easily spend $15 just having a pair of pants hemmed. Oh, easily. By the time you buy this, think about that. So for those of us... I'm tall, and I still uh -huh. have all my pants. Yeah, actually, huh? <laughs> this is perfect for that. By the time I would do basically four pairs of pants, not to mention the time out and about, mm -hmm. you could actually do it yourself. So to be able to have all those things, make your own drapes, make your own tablecloths, make your own napkins, mm -hmm. you're really going to have fun doing that and making this. Now, and what are you making now, Scott? So I'm just making a little flower petal. Uh -huh. So this is how I made these flowers. So sometimes when you go to a store and you see something unique and you're like, oh, that's such a fun thing, it might not process to you that it was made with a sewing machine, mm -hmm. you know, and this was. All these flowers were made with a sewing machine. So even if you don't want to make garments, you don't have to. You can make home decor projects. You can make um, flowers So like you're actually this. able to stitch in and around the edge on right. that. So you can actually go in that curvature design, mm -hmm. follow along with that. If you happen to already own the Janome New Home Portable Sewing Machine, we would love to hear from you and hear your own personal testimonials. The one that Stephanie's working on right now, that is, of course, our sweet little mint. So the mint has that pretty little lilac. But we have that whole huge assortment of great colors. If you want the brand-new watermelon or you want the brand-new red, those are going to be the first to go. The red is great for any of the guys who kind of have get bit by 
the sewing bug. Same with, well, the gray's got the pink on there, but it has more of almost like that little bandana print design. Exactly. Don't let this little machine fool you into thinking that it's some kind of a toy because this really is great. That's why we want to hear from you. So here's our testimonial line. It's 1-866-376-8255. And during our crafting events, we'd love hearing from you. Or even if you're making a purchase, then stay on the line. You can even purchase through hsn.com and then come back and chat with us on the line. I love that fuchsia. It just reminds me of like pink lemonade every pink time I lemonade, see that. Pink lemonade is a great description. <laughs> Absolutely. Fuchsia. Now, what are you doing to... So what I'm doing here is, like we said, this machine is wonderful for people who are on the go. Maybe you have a cabin mm. and you get to go there every weekend. Oh, great. And you want to bring your projects with you. Or maybe you have someone, uh, a daughter or a son that's a performer and you're at tournaments every weekend. Mm -hmm. Well... Maybe they get a tear in their outfit once in a while or their costume, oh, yeah. and you need to mend it quickly. So what's really neat about this machine is it's... Because what would you do Yes, what would you do otherwise. when you're away right. and you need to mend uh, the costume? Because you actually get docked down points, yeah. things like that. Sure. So it's important to look their best um, when they perform. Anyway, so um, this machine also has a free arm right here. And a free arm is important when you're sewing and need to get to a hard-to-reach area. So what it is... What it's able to do is you're able to rotate the fabric under the machine, if you can see, and you're able to get to those hard to reach areas like hems and a leotard mm -hmm. like this. So I was able to mend that up just nicely. Of course, you'd use a little bit lighter pink, but I wanted to show you actually what it looks like. Yeah, and to see where you're able to fix that. But exactly. that's a great idea because I know that does happen, you know. Mm -hmm. My son's one of those who'll kind of like, <laughs> jump over the fence and exactly. it's like, snag. Like, All right, okay, now i got to fix it. Way I'm like, go. way worse things could have happened to you, my son. <laughs> exactly. But all the different things that you have, that maybe you have that pair of pants that mm -hmm. has just, they've become high waters, but your child hasn't grown into that height. Or maybe they're too, you know, they're teeny tiny. Mm -hmm. So now you can jazz just it up and make it your own. So I have this pair of yoga pants, and I'm going to just slice it up. So if you are new to sewing and you're not sure how to hem, this is a very simple, easy way to do it. You're going to take your pants, you're going to chop it off where you wish. Well, that can even be said for how long yoga pants are. Uh -huh. I'm five eight, and they're usually about five inches too long on me. Oh, right, right. When I buy exactly. them, if I buy like a full length or a boot cut, mm -hmm. so this is perfect. To and I'm five two, off, and so they're usually too they're long. Always yeah. Way, yeah. <laughs> so I always have to hem them up. So you can make a cute little pair of leggings out of them. <laughs> you sure can. <laughs> and then you can make a headband out of this. There you go. <laughs> Good. I like it. Yes. I like the crafting. <laughs> always good. thinking. I learned how to sew when I was in college because I wanted drapes, and I mm -hmm. went to the store and I actually found out Some how much. Drapes oh. were. Yeah. No, I had a heart attack when I found out how much drapes actually cost. Uh huh. And I said, Do they realize that's a straight piece of fabric rolled over the top, one stitch through it, run a rod through it, yes. and hang it over a window? I know. I mean, it's for sure. I mean, these were college drapes. Well, yeah. that's what they were for my living room. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> but that's the thing is when you are in your dorm or you have your first apartment, you know, the first thing you want to do is decorate. Yeah. You want to make it your own because you're living on your own for the first time. You want to make it special, mm -hmm. you want to make it unique. And so this is a really nice gift as well for those who, yeah, have their first apartment. Um, they can go to the thrift store like I did in college, yes. and I got extra sheets and made different curtains and things like that. And um, it's a lot of fun. As you change so, your bedding and different things like that, you know, you go from a twin size or a full size into a queen size into a king mm -hmm. size. You have all those extra pieces, and you're thinking, gosh, I'd hate to kind of yeah. completely get rid of them. You can also use this for quilting. I was just going to say. It's so, really yes. fun. Those are perfect, too. If you have all those college t-shirts, that was one of my mm -hmm. main goals was to take all of my old college t-shirts, put them together, and make a quilt out of it. Great and idea. And make the best little quilts. And, and that way you don't mm -hmm. have to get rid of those things that really mean something to you. Create something more meaningful mm -hmm. of it. $17.49. We're shipping it to you for free. That's saving you, I think, another $7. But now you've got that perfect little easy pair of shorts mm -hmm. that... Maybe you want to put a contrast color on the stitching. Right. And you want to finish that off. But look at how nice that is. So it finishes it off beautifully on the inside. 350 stitches a minute. And now you've got it completely finished off. Yeah. It's fun, use black if you it's fun to use black It's fun to use a different color yeah. on the, on the I black. I do, too. Yeah. I, think, I think that's great to do it. Let me remind you of the color choices that we have because they're really darling. This is one of my favorites, which is that fuchsia. And the fuchsia is more of almost like that pink lemonade, if you will. See how it just kind of comes alive? We also have the brand new red. And Jared, if you can let me know where we're the most limited to. We only have about 2,000 units to go around for the entire country in all of these. That's our brand new red, and that's exclusive to us here on HSN. We also have the watermelon. 
Yes, it is called, it's actually called watermelon. So watermelon, <laughs> that reminds me of a cheer. I won't do it though. <laughs> we also have it in the pink, which is a pretty little coral. We have our lilac, which is the one that you're seeing right here. And lilac mm -hmm. has a little bit of the pink. We have our purple that also pops up with the turquoise. We have our mint, which is the one that Stephanie was using. Yes. And we have our teal. Our teal was one of the most popular. And then finally up at the top, we have the gray. And the gray has a little bit of that pink or coral combination back to it. $17.49. It even has a foot pedal. So there is that simple, easy foot pedal to work and to, to use along with that. Right. But let's just show you more projects, different things that you're going to be able to do. This really does do great stitching. Mm -hmm. It's easy to use foot control. It's consistent. Yes. Uh, Janome's been around since... 1860. It's yeah. over 150 years. So you're going to and get they're a known nice, for sewing. Absolutely. I mean, 150 years to perfect your products. How could you not? You know, right. they really know what they're doing. Um, they're a wonderful company. They even do temperature control and temperature testing on their machines. So if you live somewhere humid and then, or uh, you live somewhere dry, or maybe you're moving or traveling, your machine is going to work consistently and evenly wherever you are, which is really nice since we live here in Florida. <laughs> I was going to say, and that, that is nice to know. And if you're somebody who does do sewing, you know that there is a difference along right. with that with the machines and elevations. Yes, and all the mechanisms inside, so. they're sure. going to stay um, at top notch. So really nice. So what I'm doing here is I'm just making some little food. Have you been to the store lately and seen a lot of those felt foods or little food for, um, you know, kid, children's kitchens, yes. things like that? Really fun. I'm just making a little strawberry. We just had the strawberry Cute. festival here in Florida, so I have strawberries on the brain. I know. I actually left it up <laughs> on my car right home yesterday. I was like, oh. Oh, darn it, it ended, it ended right. on Monday. So I just made a little, you know, upside down teepee, basically, little um, triangle here. I'm stuffing cotton balls inside. Cute. Very easy. This is a very simple DIY as well. So I'm just stuffing cotton balls, and then I'm pinching it together. Now, the neat thing about this machine is it also has a left needle position. It comes in handy for zippers and also for piping, but also when you want to shift that needle over to get it close to something that's bulky like this. I okay. mentioned that there's a, a high presser foot right here, lift, so I can uh, lift that up. But I'm also going to switch it over to E, which is our left position, and it's going to hug right next to this bulky piece here, just like so. Of course, I would reinforce it and reverse it as well, but I just want to show you. Right, and that does have the reverse stitch, mm -hmm. which is great for finishing so that off great. on the edge. If you've ever broken a little strap mm -hmm. you, that you have on that, you, your favorite tank top. Yes. Or the pieces that you spend a little extra cash on. Mm -hmm. This really does make them more wearable. My daughter just busted out a zipper on a oh brand gosh. new outfit. You know, well, yes. one time, the zip, she's like, Mom, can you take this and can you fix this for me? You're going to be able to replace those zippers and turn those around. So having mm -hmm. that, that two sides, too, to actually do exactly. that. Exactly. the left needle position. You can hug close to a bulky piece just like this. And get right up there which is great absolutely so now we're gonna go through a couple different layers of felt okay so this is also a really fun thing to do and you can do some applique so applique if you want to put fabric on top of fabric and uh, make something really unique and different you can do that and so it's basically what I'm doing here I'm gonna switch it over to one of my zigzag stitches zigzag is really wonderful deck for decorative purposes and also for your stretch fabrics like you said we have different um, uh, lengths for our straight stitches. You might ask, why does this machine even have, you know, a handful of st different straight stitches? It's for um, different fabrics that you might be using. So if you have a lighter weight fabric, you can go ahead and use the shorter st uh, stitches, A, B. Um, it also has a longer stitch, D, which we also like to call a basting stitch, which is really fun if you want to make something gathered. Okay. You can actually do a little basting stitch across and not reinforce it, and then just pull one of the threads, and it'll actually bunch up really nicely. So this is just a little A. And that's great for doing, like, little things like aprons. Mm -hmm, and tutus. Or, and I was a tutus. Yeah. A little, oh, my gosh. So I can't think about how much money that can save you, too. Our, our, our minds are really good. <laughs> tutus. Yeah. So every time you think about this, the red is currently the most popular, but now you've got this cute little fun little food that your kids can now cook with. Mm -hmm. But we think about bacon. this for your children's <laughs> projects that you have around the house, making those doll clothes, mm -hmm. making, you know, even just, as you're saying, you want to, okay, now you actually just took these pants and made them into a pair of shorts. Mm -hmm. Do you know how simple and easy this pair of shorts is to make? Right. But you have to have something that you can do and use with.
with a stretch stitch because right. it's a stretchable fabric. Mm -hmm. You could make this pair of shorts sincerely for less than three bucks. Oh, absolutely. So you can now have your own little yoga shorts, your own little uh -huh. yoga pants, or if you need to have something taken in, you need to have something hemmed. Mm -hmm. This is going to be ideal for you, and you're going to find that you're going to use it for so many different so many different projects mm -hmm. around your house or how about even if you have you know higher ceilings in one house and then the other house you have lower ceilings or in different rooms yes. for that matter i know my house is like that in one room i have short curtains and in another room for some reason they're higher i don't know if they're supposed to be like that <laughs> i feel like one window is bigger than the other <laughs> but um yeah it's nice to have the ability to make things how you wish i'm going through different fabrics right here just so you get an idea i just went through some linen i went through flannel we have a lightweight cotton. We even have a nice midweight outdoor fabric. And it's going right through it with ease. And Very nice. I know we're wrapping it up right now again. Mm -hmm. We do have all the different color choices available. That's the gray that you're looking at. And then now you can, this is how you can make those banners, but also noticing that it is going through all those different types of fabrics. So light to medium fabrics. You have 10 different stitches included along with this. Stephanie's back today at 2 o'clock this afternoon.